Hey guys, today I want to quickly cover the Fatui Skirmishers, all of them, the Cryo one, the Hydro, the Electro, Geo, Animo, and Pyro uh, Slinger Fatui Skirmishers that you guys are encountering in the Spiral Abyss, their attack patterns, counters to their shield, things to look out for, and stuff like that. Okay, so first up on our list is the Cryo Skirmisher. He has an attack like this where he will jump towards you if you are farther away, as well as a quick spread shot with his uh, ice flamethrower, whatever you want to call it. Now, when you are close quarters, he will do a belly thrust <laughs> when you are close quarters. And now when he powers up, you can take down this cryo shield. Two shots with uh, with Amber, level doesn't matter, or four Gooba hits will take him down. And now normally people have uh, a problem getting behind him because normally he's targeted on you, right? Let him use his flamethrower. Most of the time you have troubles getting behind him, right? Because he does that. He locks on you. But if you guys want to know a good secret on how to get past that. So now when he's charging up and he's locked on you like he is now, all you have to do, change characters. And that's it. You can get behind him. Now, when you do change back, he'll turn back around. Just keep that in mind. So, for example, we're on Fischl. He's locked on us. We switch over to Shang Ling. He's not locked on us. He's going in a straight line. I switch to Amber. He's still going straight. Noel, still going straight. Back to Fischl. Oh, he turns back around and smacks us in the face. So, keep that in mind. Whenever you switch back to the original character that you were on when he started using that attack, will go back and turn back around to you but this is a good way if you do need to try and get behind him if uh you maybe you're rocking d luke and you don't have amber to take two shots at him and he's locked on you like so switch over get behind him pop down gooba four hits will knock him down or just two shots with uh with amber and that is how an easy way to deal with the cryo fatui skirmisher Okay, so now let's talk about the Hydro Fatui Skirmisher. He has two simple attacks. One, will he will shoot towards the enemy. It's a heat-seeking attack. It'll never miss the enemy. And it heals. So as you can see, he's all the way back up to full HP, down from like, what, 50%? 50% all the way up to 100%. So it's a pretty strong heal. You want to focus on this Hydro guy. He'll always switch off between healing and attacking you. So his first attack is healing the enemy. Second attack is just shooting you. And then his second attack is always going to go back to the enemy. So it keeps switching. He shoots the enemy to heal them. And then he targets you to shoot one shot at you. Now, I don't think that this Hydro Fatui has anything special whenever he's shielded up like the other Fatui agents or Fatui skirmishers. I think he is the same with and without a shield. So pretty straightforward guy for this Animo or this Hydro Fatui skirmisher. Also, the best way to break down the Hydro Fatui's shield is electric damage. So if you have an electric user on your team, Fischl with Oz, Lisa, these two units will be uh, very beneficial to breaking down the Hydro shield. And of course, when you are the only target left and you're one-on-one -on -one against a Hydro Fatui skirmisher, his only attack will be just shooting those attacks, those uh, water bombs, missiles at you. Okay, third, we have the Fatui Skirmisher, the Electro one. Guy with the big sledgehammer. He has one swing, two swing, and then a third wide swing, like so. That's one of his attacks. We also have a slam as a second attack. And now his power-up phase. Now, most people get terrified when he starts charging. You start running away and you get terrified. And then you end up taking damage, right? This is where a lot of people get frustrated at. But I want to tell you a secret. If you just stand still when he charges you, you will stop before he slams. Let's walk away. All right, so here he comes. We stand still. And then we just walk behind him like so. It's as simple as that. Now, this might take some time to get used to it. But as long as you're not afraid when he's starting to run after you and you just stay calm, let him run towards you. You can easily just maneuver behind him like that. And trust me, he will be a pushover once you get this down. Just take a few attempts, try and make it a one-on-one -on -one between you and him, and just uh, just try this out. Try this technique out. 
And now the best way to break this shield would be with Kaya. Now we have a level 2 Kaya. Level doesn't matter. Quickly walk behind him. Using Kaya's E ability twice will break the shield. So Ice is most effective against the Electro Fatui. And he does have a wide AoE with that swing. He does have a wide AoE. And he also has that 3 attack combo um, as well. Okay, and now we have the Pyro Gunslinger. His only attack is just taking one shot at you. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Whenever you try and get close, he'll jump out of the way. Try to get some distance from you. Just the single shot. I don't think anyone here has any issues killing this guy, right? Now his power-up phase, he'll take three shots. And wherever the first one lands is where the other two remaining ones will go. So as long as you dodge the first shot, you're good to go. He takes a shot, we dodge once, and the other two follow as well. We don't even have to move. Pretty simple. Best element to break his shield is Hydro. And you can, of course, deflect some of these shots. Um, you can absorb it with Noel Shield, obviously, but you can also block some of the shots with Geo, the pillar. So keep that in mind as well. There goes the shield break. Pretty fast, pretty simple. Okay, so now we have the Animo Boxer. Normally, he'll go and act as a shield for his other Fatui Skirmisher friends. As you can see there, putting up an Animo shield. And whenever we break down, he'll come in for a punch as one of his other anime, uh, one of his other attack patterns. But whenever you break, one of the other Fatui Skirmishers shields will wait for his, uh, his shield to go down first. Whenever you break this, he will always pick them up. So normally when you kill, a, or when you knock down a Fatui Skirmisher, you have plenty of time to do damage, you know. He'll normally punch the ground, pick them up, and let them re-shield up. So if we break his shield right here, he goes in for the punch, misses, he'll go back to his friend to pick him up immediately. Which means we don't get to do much damage to him. This guy shields up already. So normally your main focus is focusing on the Animo Skirmisher whenever he's in the uh, in the group. So you can actually do damage to the other Fatui Skirmishers and prevent this guy from continuously picking them up and having to continuously break the shield over and over. So now when you do punch his shield or shoot his shield with an elemental reaction, any element, if you... Uh, Use that element against the Animo Boxer's shield. He will suck you in. Like so, we shot it with a fire arrow. He'll suck in everything. And then give you one big punch. You can iframe through that with your ultimates. You can also dodge it if you have enough stamina to do so. Uh, Beto can counter it. Noel's shield can absorb it. And if you use any auto attacks, it does not trigger the shield to go off. But yeah, overall, this guy is pretty easy to deal with, especially when he's alone. He only has the punch, he has the shield, and uh, if you shoot the shield with an element, he'll suck you in. You can iframe it, like I've said, uh, and normal attacks are fine. Aside from the final hit on Geo main character, because it does a Geo attack. So any elemental attacks will trigger that reaction out of him. Okay, so finally we have the Geo Chancer. Takes a shot, one small little Geo Crystal out. All right, so now that he's powered up, his attack, he'll shoot out three Geo Crystals, three bigger Geo Crystals towards you. Whenever you try and get close, he'll blink away to a different location. He'll normally try and keep his keep his distance away from you. So he's much like the Pyro Slinger in that regard. And now there's multiple ways that you can actually break his shield using a claymore like with noel is the fastest probably the best way to actually break the shield so claymore users is how you want to break it you can use geo attacks so ningguang's auto attacks noel's um ultimate or geo main character's abilities to break it or if you don't have any of that to get creative which i've done a few times in the past in uh, various or uh, spiral abyss floors, you can use you can use um, fire and electric to break the shield to create overload. 
So let him blink away. We put down Gooba. And then Fischl's bird. And as you can see, they're doing overload damage. Which is breaking that shield quite fast. So if you can create an overload reaction, that's another way to do it. Baron Bunny. Amber is Baron Bunny. If you can manage to get Bar Baron Bunny right next to the Geo Chancer, that's also an efficient way to break the shield. So another ability is him teleporting to his friends and then putting up a Geo Shield. Now we can't shoot through this. This is a pretty sick ability if I do say so myself. So he'll occasionally do that whenever uh, another Fatui Skirmisher is present with him. Uh, I don't think he ever does that when he's alone, however. I think he's going to do it again. There it goes. And just to demonstrate how much Baron Bunny can break the shield, or his shield, his Geo Shield. If you have a Constellation Amber, you can shoot the Baron Bunny to exploit it. But look at that. Half health. His shield's already down halfway with Baron Bunny. So this is this could be very effective. If you have Constellation on Amber and you can shoot the bunny to detonate it yourself. We don't have that, unfortunately. We're zero Constellation. But Amber is definitely another uh, another character you could use and utilize to break the shield. And I honestly think that is it. I think that wraps everything up. We we covered all the uh, Fatui Skirmishers. Cryo, Hydro, Electro, Geo, Animo, and the Pyro Slinger. Uh, I hope this video was helpful and informative to any of you guys out there. If you guys do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to respond. Other than that, hope to catch you guys next time.